Hi, Adam Robert Young here. And uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of how-to videos on YouTube. Uh, I'm not gonna add to them today because today I'm gonna give you a how not to video. And that is how not to take photos of whales. Uh, this is all based on an experience that I had uh, a couple of weeks ago here in Brisbane. So stick around and at the other side of the intro, I'll tell you all about it. So I booked a trip with my partner Jade to go out and see the whales. It's actually really close to Brisbane. It's uh, in Redcliffe, which is a 45 minute drive from the Brisbane CBD. So we thought, hey, yeah, it's a nice little day trip. We've been talking about it for ages. So we figured now is whale season. So uh, why don't we go out and check it out? And I thought, yes. I'm gonna get a great YouTube video with great content. I'm gonna get epic photographs of the whales leaping out of the water and it's just gonna be amazing. I'm gonna show off my amazing photographic skills and everybody will be wowed and in awe of the amazingness. That's not what happened. We went out and we got onto the boat, which was a reasonable sized boat. Uh, we bought the, there's like three tiers of tickets. We bought the me middle tier and we basically got a table all to ourselves, just two of us, but we had our own table, which was awesome with a window so we could look out, we could see the ocean. And it was a really nice trip uh, out from Redcliffe into Morton Bay. So I guess the first sign that maybe I might have a challenge on my hands was when they announced the swell. They said that it's a 1.4 meter swell. So basically the boat would be going up and down and up and down and it was a little bit, you know, a little bit rough. But I thought, hey, you know, no big deal, all should be good. So I thought, okay, I'm well prepared. I brought my Canon EOS 5D Mark II and yeah, it's an old camera, but it does the job well still. So I brought that with a 300 millimeter lens. I thought, okay, great. I can get the whales when they're off in the distance a little more and that'll be awesome. And so we, we took the trip out. It was, you know, everything was going great. Uh, beautiful day, it was sunny. And then we got to where the whales were. I went out onto the front of the boat to take some photos so that I'd have a good, you know, clear vantage point. I was right up against the railing. But because of the swell, the boat was going up and down. And then I, I basically had to use one hand to hang on to the rail and hold myself self steady and the other hand had the camera. So I couldn't actually use the camera with two hands. So already there was challenges to focusing and you know, keeping everything stable. Okay, so that already made it extremely difficult. But then when the whales started surfacing, coming up to the surface for air, I realized they were way too close. So they were you know, pretty much right by the boat. So that 300 millimeter lens was way too long. So I guess tip number one is don't put a really long telephoto prime lens on your camera. Um, you know, have a zoom lens because then if the whales are closer, the whales are further, you can adjust quite quickly to actually get them where they are. So already I missed a lot of great shots because the lens was just way too long. So that was the start. So 
can't great get can't compose very easily because the boat's kind of up and down and, and, and keeping things steady and finding the whales, getting locked on to focus. And then with the long lands already, I was having a lot of trouble and not really getting a lot of great shots as it was. Um, and then to compound that, there were other issues. Firstly, you can't predict the whale's behavior. So sometimes they're really active and they love leaping out of the water and jumping and diving and all of that stuff. Sometimes they're just gonna come up for a bit of air and go back down again, which is pretty much what they did this day. So they weren't doing any acrobatics. They weren't doing anything really cool. Uh, I did see some leaping out of the water about half a kilometer away. Um, so I didn't manage to get any of that either. So rough swells, wrong lands, and lazy whales. They were feeling pretty lazy that day. They were taking it slow, just coming up, having a bit of a breath and going back down again. Got a couple of tails, but that's about it, maybe a fin here or there, but it was nothing amazing at all. So I was really, really disappointed. But you know what? That kind of taught me a really important lesson, a lesson that I often tell myself and try to remind myself of, but I often forget. And that is don't get so caught up in getting good footage and getting good photos that you actually miss out on enjoying the experience. So, I kind of realized I was a little too focused on the photos and so I just pulled back a little bit, put the camera down and just enjoyed watching the whales. And that's a really important thing for photographers that we don't get so caught up in capturing moments that we don't, we miss out on actually experiencing it ourselves, that we're always off in a distance in our head thinking about apertures and shutter speeds and focus and all of these things and composition. And when we, you know, at the end of the day, we don't really have any memories apart from the photos that we took. So yeah, make photos, absolutely. But also don't forget to make memories. And so for the rest of the trip, I just spent time with Jade and we enjoyed the time, looked at the whales, enjoyed the scenery, enjoyed even just the sun on the water, which was absolutely stunning. And you know, in the end it was a great day, but I'm still kind of a little frustrated that I didn't get any great photos from it. But you know, the whales are gonna be there for a while yet. And now I have a little more experience uh, I'll know what things to look out for, what things to be aware of, and what things to prepare for. All right, so that's about it. I kind of felt like I had to post this video because I did create it a couple of weeks ago before the, uh, the channel kind of had a bit of a change. Um, but the one I'm really excited about posting is the one that I think I'm gonna do next, which actually goes behind the wall uh, in China, looking at some things that even the local media didn't get to see, but I was lucky enough to witness and also to photograph uh, when I found an entrance into an area that was being blocked off by police and the locals actually hid me in that community uh, while some things went down. Um, so uh, I was really, really thankful to them and lucky to photograph those incidents. Um, so I'll be sharing that in the next video and uh, it kind of marks a bit of a more of a turn towards the documentary photography side of things, which really that's my strength. So I'm gonna play to my strengths. Um, but of course there'll still be stuff about Brisbane, there'll still be some general photography stuff. Um, but yeah, definitely gonna start looking at a bit more documentary photography content as well. So I hope to see you there. Uh, if you're not subscribing, definitely subscribe so you don't miss any of that. And thanks for watching this one. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Coffee's making me burp.